Hello there, everybody. I'm Mr. Gamefly, and welcome to the Robot Master Miracle Run. Today, we're going to be taking on Grenade Man. He's uh, He uses explosions, so he's good in my book. Explosions are greatly appreciated. We're also going to be using some Ice Wave here later, eventually. Like, like right now. Oh. Hey there, Baton-san. You are you're being kind of dumb. Wait, no. Nope, that is too high. Yeah, you can. I think I mentioned this before, but you can use the Buster while equipped with a special weapon in this game. On the GameCube version, like I'm doing, the X button jumps and the Y button shoots. And unlike the A button, which shoots depending on what special weapon you have equipped, the Y button will always be the uh, the Mega Buster. Oh, okay. Also, Batontons only take one shot in this game, which is greatly appreciated. I think I got this. Yeah. And then all I have to do is switch to Mega Ball and oh it. Darn it! There we go. Oh. That wasn't... That wasn't the right angle. That still wasn't the right angle. Okay, never mind. Let's just... Let's just do this. Bam! I would say that I want to reserve my Thunderclaw because it is Grenade Man's weakness. But on the other hand, I have 30 Thunderclaws, so I don't think that I'm going to be running out anytime soon. <laughs> Let's see here. What? This background is really awesome. I enjoy it. I also enjoy how powerful the Thunderclaw is. Seriously. And another bolt. Not too bad. And if we angle it perfectly right... There we go. Yep. We can get that guy down there without even having to jump down. It's a good thing. Also, this boss is pretty easily destroyed by the, the the tornado hold here. You see, he's basically like a downgraded junk man. He's got a junk shield. But with the tornado hold, we really don't have to worry about him at all. Because his junk shield gets completely wrecked. That wasn't actually where I wanted to shoot it. There we go. That said, he can still be rather difficult because the pieces of junk that he pulls out of the ground come out fairly randomly, and they can be rather annoying to deal with. Since it's entirely possible for them to just pop out of the ground right underneath you. But he is dead. Not that tough. And we got another rush item from him. I believe that this one is the rush cycle, which we needed for that bolt in Cloud Man stage that I said that we didn't have the right utility for yet. This is one thing that I really like about Mega Man 8, is that the special weapons are really good. I mean, we haven't even seen what Grenade Man's weapon is yet, but I assure you, Grenade Man's weapon is awesome. Even the Mega Ball, as useless as that thing looks, has its uses. Also, this is another area where we have to come back to it because we need Flame Sword to, fu to light these fuses to get that bolt down there. There are also a couple other fuses that the, the uh, Flame Sword has chances to light, but most of them aren't actually ones that you want Flame Sword to light up. Usually, whenever the these blocks start exploding, it's a bad thing. Like here. These platforms are our only platforms above these endless pits. So if they start exploding, we'll probably die. That said, with some quick movement, we can get some bolts before they become problematic. And we will need some really quick movement here. 
Got it. I actually died getting that bolt on practice run. I am a little bit tense right now because I still have zero lives. This game doesn't exactly throw lives at you very often. So if I die, I'm gonna go right back to the to the spawn area after, right after the mini boss. Now on the plus side, that isn't actually that far away. It wouldn't actually take that far to go back, but I don't know. I'd rather it just not happen in general. Okay, the weapon that I need here is the Thunder Claw. The Thunder Claw can actually reflect uh, grenades, man, grenade man's flash bombs right back at him. This is not a technique that I realized for a very long time. I hate that move. Oh nope, he didn't. He didn't turn around correctly. Oh my gosh. Nope. Again, he missed. Come on, grenade man. I want to show you the fact that. Oh yeah. He uses crazy. Oh, that killed him. Okay, never mind. I didn't get to show you knocking his thing back at him. Oh well. Yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter that much. But you can do it. It usually helps when he shoots the flash bomb straight forward, which he usually does that fairly frequently, but apparently not that time. He just wanted to shoot it diagonally, which is the harder version to shoot back at him. It's still possible. I've done it before, but it's much more difficult. And the flash bomb is probably one of the best weapons in this game. It is an awesome weapon, and we'll be seeing that next time. But for now, we have a terrible cutscene to watch. I'm almost finished. The battery will be charged in 10 minutes. That's good. By the way, what do you make of these? These? Seems to be energy resources. But I've never seen this type on Earth. I don't know where this energy came from, but I cannot let it fall into Dr. Wowie's hands. <laughs> you must recover all the energy immediately, Mega Man. But where is Dr. Wiley? That's a good question. We may be able to locate another energy emission from the radar room. When we find that meteor, we'll find Dr. Wowie. Oh my gosh, the voicing in this game is just so terrible. But yeah, this guy is Duo. He's an alien robot that we found in the introduction stage of this game that I didn't show you. He's also going to be the boss of another stage that I'm not going to show you because he... He's not part of the numerical run, really. But yeah, he woke up. And he's like, oh wait, check this out. I'm still alive after that big space battle at the beginning of the game. Cool. That's appreciated. Oh man, it's the evil energy. I've got to destroy it because I'm the good guy. And I destroy the evil. Goodbye, Duo. What the? Mega Man, you must go after him. We don't know who he is, and it's dangerous to leave him alone. Yes, sir. Let's go, Rush. And suddenly he's outside. But yeah, this takes us directly into this stage, which we're not playing. So, I've been Mr. Game Pie, and next time we're gonna fight Astro Man. See you then.